Hey, what is up, people? This is Johnny, and today I want to review a game called Child of Light. So, you may have seen some gameplay before on my channel, and I finally am done with the video game, so I want to talk about it. And we're going to review it. So, what I do I think about Child of Light when I first saw it? I saw it like it's really different and odd and very unique. This is uh, an RPG game that also looks like a platformer. So it's pretty unique in its own way. I've never seen a game like this. And never, ever, I mean, have seen a game like this. So yeah, let's talk about the storyline. You're basically a princess who gets lost into this other world. And you're looking for a way to return back to your family and everything. Because you're a princess. Now, the storyline, it's alright. I would have to say it's not bad, but it's just it's just alright for the setting. Um... But, you know, it's an average storyline, kind of kiddish, um, if you would say. But that's not what matters. The storyline is all right. I wouldn't say it's the best because, of course, it's an indie title. Uh, but those there are some indie titles that have some really good storylines. This one is all right. But that's not what I mainly was interested in the game. What I found interesting in the game is actually the gameplay, which we're going to talk about now. The gameplay. There is several different skill upgrades that you can get. Um, I was surprised that they have a lot of them. A lot of them. <laughs> and it's an RPG, basically. You get to level up in levels like, sort of like Nino Kunu, Kuni, <laughs> I mean. I mean, And yeah, you get to level up, and they're, they give you magic points and stuff. And you get to choose what kind of upgrade you want to get and stuff like that. And you also have a party of different players as well and yeah so the way the gameplay works is the little bar in the middle it goes straight through and your and you can see your enemy's little picture on there and who gets to attack first and then you attack there are different monsters who have different weaknesses like ice or thunder i believe and some have very effective weaknesses against fire and um yeah so you get to play with those and you get to equip different types of emeralds in order to have your your depending your attacks how which kind of effect they will have like in fire or thunder or that type so yeah that's pretty much it it's like an rpg you wait for the time bar to go and yeah and also it allows you to walk around the area the as you can see in the gameplay the the game allows you to walk everywhere everywhere you go you can even fly and you can find treasures and different stuff around the map so yeah and um that's pretty much it the basic gameplay you walk into a you run into an enemy in a 2d world and um you have like an rpg gameplay style once you come upon the enemy all right enough about that and let's talk about the graphics so i heard somewhere that this game was related to the rayman origins i believe one of the rayman graphics i must say they do run very smoothly and they look really sharp and nice the environment is awesome the artwork they've done in this game is extremely beautiful it's one of the most polished 2d artworks i have seen in a game so yeah i was very very well impressed with it um it's just one it's just really good graphics and i really did enjoy the graphics in it and yeah let's go into the music what can we talk about for the music man the music is really good it fits right into the storyline it just fits right into the storyline it's it's good and um it's just good music so it's not bad i would say it's pretty pretty good uh, now the replayability of this game i think there is a hard mode so if you were to go into a hard mode you could definitely replay this game and if you really did enjoy it it's really fun so i, I think it does have a replayability and you know after you complete everything of course you're not gonna have a big replayability it's fairly short but it also it gets your time if you're a typical gamer you're gonna take your time on it and you're not gonna finish it fast but if you're a fast gamer and you like to finish games fast well then you'll probably finish this game pretty fast so the durability of the game is not very high but it's it's right there in the middle it's really good um depends what kind of gamer you are if you're a gamer that rushes through the games or you're a typical gamer like me which I took my time and I usually take my time throughout every single game and I would have to say that it depends all on you on what kind of gamer you are if you're a rusher through it but yeah it's it's right there in the middle um, for the price I would have to say this game is great for the price uh, 
because it gives you a decent storyline. It's it has a really fair price, so I would say pick it up for the fifteen, I believe, uh, fifteen dollars. I think that's how much it costs. And another thing that was pretty good about this, it came out in pretty much every single platform console that you can think of. I even think the Wii U came out, so that's pretty nice. They're supporting the Wii U, and um, came out for the Wii U as well. So that's that's awesome. And it came out for PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, I believe, and PS4 and pc etc i think those are <laughs> pretty much all the consoles that you would play on so yeah it's it's pretty good they allow it everything and every single console and that's one thing that's good how they're doing the multi-support it's good so everybody can experience a wonderful game and yeah that's pretty much sums up what else can i say uh storylines are right durability is all right um it's right there in the middle the gameplay is awesome you can you can even freaking in the gameplay you can even make different diamonds combined with other diamonds to give you more intensive power i don't know strength like that and you have to know how to do it the right way so it got a lot of options a lot you also have an inventory so this game has a lot of stuff and it's pretty unique in its own way um so yeah what else can i add into this review i think that's pretty much it all oh, for trophy hunters i'm not quite sure i think it's a decent game for trophy hunters um so let's sum up to this review and i give this game a 9.0 i give it a 9.0 because simply it is a really good game it's not a bad game at all you should definitely go ahead and get it if you have a chance it's you'll you'll get entertained if you like rpgs this game will entertain you a lot a lot i mean it entertained the crap out of me so yeah give it a 9.0 it's well deserved and yeah that's pretty much it the review and thanks for watching and have a nice day i will be doing more reviews in the near future of future new games